Welcome to Terry Lawson Photography Conversations. Today, I'm in Red Deer, Alberta, talking with professional photographers Royce Holland and Peter Carroll. And we're going to be talking about a very unique photography class that they will be conducting in the Cypress Hills area of Alberta in the fall of 2014. It will be a class that will help photographers dig deeper into their soul and understand how to create photographs that connect, photographs that tell a story. So sit back and get comfortable and enjoy my conversation with Royce and Peter. Welcome to Conversations, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much. So the reason I wanted to get you guys together was to talk about what I think is going to be an amazing photography class that you have planned for next fall. So Royce, maybe you could, uh, first of all, tell us how the idea for this class came about. Absolutely. We call the format of what we're going to do here a master class, and this is an idea that really came to me about three to four years ago in discussion with a few other people that I know around the province. What we've seen with digital photography is that it's really caused an explosion of people who are taking pictures. We yep. are surrounded by digital cameras in every conceivable device now. And on a daily basis, there are more photographs being taken than in the entire past history of 150 years of film photography. But the question that a lot of people who want to press on with their photography is not, how do I take this photograph or where do I upload this photograph to, but what photograph should I take or why am I photographing? And I kind of wrestled with that myself and I started talking to a bunch of other people that had that same question really starting to dominate their thinking and I thought, yeah, that is the question. Not what piece of gear should I get or how do I make this Photoshop filter work, but why am I photographing and what photographs am I taking? As we started to really try to answer that question, a few of us in our own work, we came up with the idea that there is a creative expression opportunity here for people that want to take their photographs somewhere beyond mere technical proficiency. They know how to use the camera, they know how to use Photoshop, they know how to use yep. the internet, but they want to do something that's very personal that brings their own unique vision and voice into their work. And that really is about why and what, it's not about how. And so we came up with the idea of uh, what we call now the masterclass format, which is an intensive, creative expression learning opportunity for a very small group of people that want to move their work in this kind of creative direction in a pragmatic and real way. And uh, this concept was born, and this is now uh, the third one that I'll be running. Well, I think that's uh, uh, very ambitious, mm -hmm. uh, but I think important for photographers, as you say, Technology is is consuming everybody and taking us away from what we actually are trying to do in the first place, and that's take a photograph. Absolutely. Right? Peter, I'd like to uh, maybe give those that are listening to this uh, a, an understanding of what the goal of this class is going to be. Right, sure. And, and maybe some of the... Uh, some of the activities you've got planned to achieve those goals. Yeah, sure. Um, the primary goal of our mass class workshop is to improve each photographer's storytelling ability within the frame. So storytelling drives this workshop. We'll be digging deep into the concepts like uh, essence, which is a, uh, a passion uh, of mine. Um, what is essence? How do you capture it? How do you communicate it? We'll be exploring the various deliberate choices that photographers make when they create an image. Some of these choices can seem uh, very conscious at the beginning. Um, we'll work through that with people, but with experience, they become very natural and a, um, a, uh, a tool in how to tell your story within the frame. So we're, we're concentrating on the fact that people are individuals and you bring your own history to the workshop. Yeah. Um, we want people to tap into that. I'm sure the people that come will have different experiences, different jobs they come from, different family history, uh, different parts of the world. These are all important to photographers to tap into when they're creating images. So we want people to embrace their uniqueness and that'll help them tell stories within the frame. We want people basically to tell much more than this is a pretty picture with their camera. Right. There's something more to be told. 
and when you combine your own unique history with strong fundamentals in photography, you create a very powerful image that has meaning and connects with the viewer. So that's what we'll be pushing in the workshop. Um, how we go about that is the workshop is going to have um, seminars that both myself and Royce um, will conduct. We'll have both free shoots and exercise-driven shoots uh, for people. And then we'll also have uh, image review sessions where we can share what was created and discuss it all in a um, supportive and uh, positive atmosphere. So. I'm wondering about uh, this word essence, if uh, you guys could, I, I like that word. Right. I'm wondering if you could talk a bit more about that. I'll talk a bit about it. Um, essence is going to be different for each person and that's important. That's part of this, you bring you to the workshop and you bring you to uh, every image that you create. So what we will be doing is guiding people as to how to define that for themselves, okay. how to right. see it for themselves. And once they work out what that definition is for them, uh, their storytelling ability will improve vastly. Uh, it's a favorite quote of mine where uh, Michelangelo was talking to the uh, Pope about um, his David and the Pope said, how do you create the David? And uh, I just said, I just cut away everything that wasn't David. That's <laughs> essence. He cut down to exactly what he wanted to say in his art. And right. that's what we'll be striving for. Okay. And uh, what sort of uh, techniques might you be using to, to bring out the essence of the photographers that are going to be at this class? One of the things that we're going to... Uh, introduce people to is uh, the simple concept of simply taking an inventory of what is before them in the scene when we're preparing to make photographs. You're seeing something in your, in your subconscious, you think there's a photograph to be made here, but a lot of people don't really evaluate in any way what it is that is prompting them to think there's a photograph to be made in this location or of a particular subject. Okay. So stop, take stock of it, and inventory what's going on there, and try to identify the thing that you are responding to. It's not because you saw an opportunity to reproduce a photograph like something that you've seen elsewhere before. We all start by emulating things that we've seen before, but right. if you want to move beyond into the idea of personal expression, into the idea of essence that Pete is talking about, you need to really be able to tap into why am I responding to this scene? Why am I feeling motivation to photograph this? Yep. Stop, quarter it, look at it, and break down an inventory of what's actually going on here. What are the things that I care about? What are the things that I don't care about? And then I can build up my ability to construct an image from those inventory items. Right. It sounds cold, it sounds analytical, and our objective is not for people to stay in that mode. But you need to move when you're talking about these kinds of creative skills development from a position of being consciously aware of things and using the forefront of your thinking to developing muscle memory to the point where you're now unconsciously aware of them. After a while of doing these kinds of exercises, you're not going to be sitting there deliberately consciously thinking your way through these things. It's going to be in your creative muscle memory and you're just right. going to be doing it without thought. But until you've gone through that stage of conscious awareness of realizing there is a framework to kind of diligently, creatively construct these images, you will have to go through that conscious awareness mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. So we're going to guide people through various techniques, you know, like the inventorying of the, of the vocation elements and some others uh, to uh, illustrate these sorts of thinking frameworks about how to construct these images. I know what you're, what you're trying to say, uh, because we all come to a spot and we, we, we say, I have to take a photograph of this. Why did I stop here to take this photo? To want to take this photograph? Right? Yeah. yeah, we've all heard the phrase that a picture is worth a thousand words, and I think that's true. But the question I ask people is, which thousand words are you saying? <laughs> that's right. If you don't know, then it's maybe a bit of babble. You know, I yeah. mean, you can have a beautiful scene, and people will react to a photograph of a beautiful scene and say that looks wonderful. Yep. But storytelling imagery goes beyond just the pure aesthetics or just the pure beauty of the subject matter that you're dealing with. Freeman Patterson talks very, very uh, at length about the difference between subject matter, the physical elements, the things that are out there, versus your subject. What are you really photographing? What are you really saying? Is it an emotion? Is it a mood? Are you tapping into a memory from childhood? Right. right. 
Is it an aspiration? Is it a hope? Is it something that you fear? Is it any of these kinds of abstract concepts? You're illustrating them with the subject matter, but the subject is something other. It's a more abstract thing. And if you are trying to say a thousand words about what that subject is, you need to be a little more deliberate than just saying, well, it's a beautiful scene and, you know, the Alpen glow was wonderful and the reflection was nice or the, the larches are golden at fall. You know, you need to move beyond that. Beauty right. is not wrong, but there's more to it in storytelling. Yeah. If you, if you can't uh, verbalize or figure out for yourself what you, draws you to the scene, what's the reason that you find this interesting, the passion behind it, um, you're pretty much stuck on aesthetics. You're, you're right. digging no deeper than that. Yeah. And that's the crutch. There's a pretty picture element that gets presented, and that's lovely, but it stops there. The story hasn't been told because your story hasn't been told. You haven't re- figured out why that scene is important to you. Um, that's all part of the storytelling within the frame. So are you going to um, provide an opportunity for those that attend your class, beautiful places to take photographs, or are you going to be sitting in a classroom the whole time? Both. Uh, we have some information that we need to communicate to people, and so there will be some classroom sessions where we're giving people, I like to call them frameworks. They're not recipes. It's not do these five things to make a good image. It's a framework that says, how do you think about image making? And it's important for people to understand that framework because the reason to take this workshop is a lot of people will be struggling with those very issues. Mm-hmm. So we want to give them a framework to clarify the thought process of how to go about image making. But then we're going to immediately go into the field and do pragmatic shooting exercises that are targeted to apply the frameworks that we're talking okay. about and follow up with the portfolio or image review sessions that Pete talked about to then say, all right, we created this work yesterday, now we're going to sit down and look at it. How did it work for everybody? Right. You, know, you were responding to something, you thought there was something there, you tried to apply the framework, how did it go? Was it successful? Was it a near miss? Did you really get stuck on square one? You know, and right tune it up, and then we've got four days, and we'll go at it cyclically, uh, one day after the other, with uh, a bit of conceptual framework, a bit of field shooting, and a bit of review. And then okay. and I'd just like to add that all these uh, parts of the workshop, um, like stress that they're in a supportive and positive atmosphere, there needs to be that for people to be truly creative and to experiment, and they need to feel comfortable that... Uh, they're going to take a couple of swings at the ball and the odd one will go over the fence and then they'll whiff on a couple, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, That's part of the process. Of course. uh, So there's, uh, in any year, there are hundreds and hundreds of photography classes that people can go to. Why do you want everybody to come to your photography class? what's, What's going to make yours different than anyone else's? You take a first shot at that, Pete? Sure. Um, I think, quite honestly, our class is going to dig deeper than the vast majority of workshops out there. We are not trophy hunting with people. We are not a five tips how-to workshop. We are getting into the real deep guts of photography, the essence of what the craft is about and why we all take pictures. Uh, People find that of interest. Uh, They definitely want to sign on because... uh, this is going to be a great journey. Um, it's going to be an action-packed number of days. It's intensive, but the benefits are, are huge, and especially for people who may feel that they're stuck in their photography. There's a, um, a natural progression that every photographer goes through about working the fundamentals of the equipment and how to compose and uh, create images, um, and then people find themselves in a bit of a rut sometimes unless they get kick-started. And, this workshop will definitely be an opportunity for um, photographers to uh, spark that creativity again and to start thinking about things in a deeper way. So that's what we offer. I think what this class will be offering is really important for photographers and I think that's that's something that I think people will be really interested in. Yeah. We're interested in people that are looking for a creative challenge. You know, Pete and I both have gone through that ourselves, uh, even as recently as within the last few months, but certainly uh, repetitively during our career. And the creative challenge effectively responded to brings an incredible feeling of progress and fulfillment and satisfaction. And it's, it's a crying shame that people that are talented in photography would feel a bit dispirited by it if they're on a plateau and they don't see a way off of it. 
So we're, we're positioning this. You used the word ambitious at the beginning of the interview, and it is ambitious. You know, we are putting a pretty high bar out there that we want to have people come out that are looking for a serious creative challenge that is going to lead to some sort of breakthrough. We can't promise what the breakthrough is because, as Pete said, you bring you to the event, and right. developing personal style and personal creative expression comes much from within. But we want the right kind of person to come to this, and we're going to hopefully be able to kick open some floodgates and allow them to discover for themselves what that next level is that they want to go to. Right. If we can achieve that, that's far better than any number of recipes of five how-to tips for a piece of gear or right. a Photoshop right. filter that you should download to uh, you know jazz up uh, the effects of your images or something right. like that. Yeah, We're going to get people to stretch, quite honestly. We're going to get them to work outside their comfort zone, possibly, and... The honest truth is that's where the magic happens. That's, and that's what you have to do that's what you to, have to, to grow, do. right? That's right. And yeah. we're looking for photographers who want to grow and want to be challenged to join us on this workshop. And it's going to be a wonderful journey. I mean, in the process of, of the four days, what we will end up doing is getting people to think like we think when we photograph, but make their own individual images. Right. We do not want people to make Pete images. We do not want people to make Royce images. Uh, we want them to make their own, whatever that is. They bring themselves to their photography and they need to respect that and dig deep into that. But there is a thought process that goes in about making right. a crafted storytelling image. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's uh, going to be a really exciting course and uh, I, I hope that people will, will want to sign on. I think it uh, will be very valuable. Now, maybe you could just uh, tell us about the, some of the technical aspects of uh, how people can find out about this class and, uh, you know, where they sign up and when it's going to be and that sort of thing. Sure, yeah, both of our uh, websites, so I'll say mine first. Uh, it's www.petercarroll.ca. Uh, Terry will make reference to it in the blurb um, beside the podcast here. Uh, I have a workshop um, page on my website where all the information will be. Okay. We are conducting the workshop in uh, Cypress Hills, uh, just outside of Cypress Hills. Which is uh, beautiful. A property called Reeser Ranch. Fantastic uh, couple run that ranch. Uh, five generations in the family. Um, been on the same property, so it's quite a special uh, yeah, no place. Kidding. Um, wonderful support from those folks. Um, so we look forward to working with them. Um, Love the accommodations, uh, great food and right on the doorstep of Cypress Hills, so it's uh, Perfect. quite special. Yeah. Maybe Royce will talk about his... Uh... Yeah, and I'll have the information up as well on my website, which is www.vividaspectphoto.com, and uh, you know the details will be on there in terms of the dates. It's going to be uh, early September of 2014. We'll have pricing information on there. We'll have logistics information around registration and contacts, uh, as time goes by, we're going to be uh, posting some other information to give people a better sense of the kind of uh, content that we're going to be really focusing on during the event. We'll be both uh, blogging about it and writing some articles about it. We'll have an itinerary that will be available for people that are interested so we can kind of yep. give them a rough sense of what's the day like uh, in the middle of this thing and uh, assess for themselves whether that seems like the kind of event they want to come on. Perfect. I, I think this is going to be as I say, a, a great class for people, and I want to thank you for uh, sitting down with me uh -huh. and talking about it today, uh, and I wish you all the luck. Thanks for the opportunity, Terry. Uh, we're very excited about it ourselves, too. Okay. Thanks very much. I'm so looking forward to the fall of 2014. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. You have been listening to Terry Lawson Photography Conversations, interviews with photographers and those involved in the art scene. I hope you can join me for my next interview.